Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use guide objects in fluid simulation in Blender. The guides allow us to use an object or another simulation to give some velocity to the fluid. So, we can direct the fluid according to these guide objects. Open a new Blender file. Add a cube object. Click the Physics Properties tab and add fluid to the cube. Set the fluid type to domain. Set the domain type to liquid. Set the domain resolution value to 32. Higher resolutions will make the simulation look better, but it will take longer to bake and compute. Scroll down to the cache panel and switch the cache type to modular. Enable the resumable option. Set the end frame of the simulation to 100. Also, set the end frame of the timeline to 100. Open up the guide panel. When we enable the guide option, the panel will be activated. There are two kinds of guiding sources. We can use any other gas or liquid domain as a velocity source. We can also use an effector object for guiding. Let's leave the velocity source as domain. Leave the other domain settings as they are. Go to the Outliner Editor and rename the cube as Fluid Domain. Press Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Add another cube object. Scale down the cube to fit inside the fluid domain. Add fluid to the object. Switch the fluid type to flow, the flow type to liquid, and the flow behavior to geometry. We will give some velocity to this fluid by a smoke simulation. Let's add a gas domain. Scale up the domain so that it contains the fluid domain. Add fluid physics to the domain. Switch the fluid type to domain, and the domain type will be gas. Set the resolution value to 32 for faster baking. Add a gas flow object. Scale down the object to fit inside the gas domain. Add fluid physics to it. Switch the fluid type to flow, and the flow type will be smoke. Flow behavior will be inflow. First, we need to bake the smoke simulation. With the smoke domain selected, scroll down to the cache section and set the end frame of the simulation to 100. Switch the cache type to modular and enable the resumable option. Scroll up and bake the smoke simulation. When we play the simulation, we can see the smoke rising. What we are going to do is select the smoke simulation as a guide for the fluid simulation. So the fluid will take the velocity of the smoke and rise with the smoke. Select the fluid domain and ensure that the guides option is enabled. Also, ensure that the velocity source is domain. Select the gas domain as the guide object. We have three different values in this panel. We'll go over these values after a while later. First, bake the simulation with default settings and see how it works. Let's play the simulation. As you can see, the smoke is taking the fluid and bringing it upward. Let's go over the guide settings. The weight controls the lag of the guide. If we set this higher, the fluid will lag behind the smoke. If we set this lower, the fluid will be more attached to the smoke and will follow the smoke closely. The size is the size of the guiding. Higher values result in larger vortices. The velocity factor controls how much velocity the smoke will give to the fluid. Higher values result in greater guiding velocities. If you want to see the fluid mesh, enable the mesh option and bake the fluid mesh. After baking, hit the Z key to switch to solid view. That's it. We can also use any object as a guide instead of the domain. 
Select the fluid domain and free mesh data. Switch to wireframe mode and free baked data. Hide the gas domain and flow object in the viewport. Add a UV sphere under the domain. Let's animate the sphere. On the viewport display, hit the K key and add a location keyframe. Go to frame 20. Move up the sphere so that go through the fluid. Hit the K and add another location keyframe. Add fluid physics to the sphere. Switch the fluid type to the effector and the effector type to the guide. Select the fluid domain, go to the guide section and switch the velocity source to the effector. As you can see, a new bake guide button will appear. We need to bake the guide first. Then, scroll up and bake the fluid data. We have just talked about the weight, size, and velocity factor settings. Let's set the guide weight to 1. Click on the Bake Guides button. After the baking guide, scroll up and bake the fluid data. Let's play the simulation. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.